Douglas, you know, in addition to his abolition work, I would say the second cause that was uh, most dear to his heart was the cause of, of women's liberation. And so he was present in 1848 at the Seneca Falls uh, Convention, the famous Women's Rights Convention. Uh, and the, the uh, suffrage leader, uh, Elizabeth Cady Stanton, said that she never met a man who understood uh, the degradation of women, uh, of women as well as Douglas did. And uh, Douglas, you know, a lot of the same arguments that he used in critique of slavery, he used in, in uh, critique of, of patriarchy, and, um, and he defended the idea that women were the owners of themselves and that uh, they could not be virtually represented by their husbands and their fathers in the political sphere that they needed to be able to represent their own ideas and interests. And uh, he also defended the idea that uh, women could disagree with men and still get along just fine. Um, and so that was another really important uh, aspect of his attitude toward, um, toward women's rights. He thought that uh, it was okay if women got involved in politics and found themselves in disagreement with their husbands, um, that this wouldn't bring about the end of marriages. It would actually um, introduce an element uh, of, um, of excitement in, in marriages and also uh, sort of promote uh, a more comprehensive discussion of, of all sorts of political issues that, uh, that were present at the time.